Hi everybody, it's Hi, me, Gory D and Johnny B. Johnny B, that's me. I'm the SP. Oh, he knows the lingo. <laughs> I hear yes. you saying it all the time. You're uh, my SP. I didn't know what an SP was before that, but I, I know now. It, yeah. What is it? Specific person. Yeah! Oh, God, thank God. What I thought would be really cool is if I bring him on to the show and we can talk, <laughs> show. Uh, we can talk about <laughs> manifesting from your perspective. Because yeah. you're just a normal guy aren't you? you you've not really been that into manifesting have you yeah i mean i didn't really know what manifesting was before you started talking about it yeah by the sounds of things uh a lot of people a lot of the people on your channel right there mm -hmm. their sps will also be like me so maybe i'm a good representation yeah of, uh, because actually that's true like a lot of the people that come to talk to me or come to look at my channel they're manifesting a specific person who doesn't necessarily know. Yeah, who, who probably knows nothing about it. I felt I was the one doing the manifesting, but when we talked about it, you said you thought you manifested me, didn't you? You said that you always knew that we would just be together. Oh yeah, sure, sure. Is that what is that what manifestation is then? Yeah, you kind of like had it in your head, like this is gonna happen. I just you? like, when, when we met in Brighton in 2014, Yeah. it was like, I felt like it was like, oh, you know, here's this, uh, perfect girl for you um you know get married get a mortgage get a volvo get a dog <laughs> there we go the end the end right and um and i wasn't i wasn't ready at the time i was i was 26 i'd only just started living independently for the first time after university and moved down my parents house mm. so i wasn't ready for it at that, at that time but i had this feeling that well we're probably going to end up together at some point yeah yeah, if that's what manifestation is, yeah, that's... Yeah. I just felt like it would happen one day. But the thing is that I think about this, it felt like, to me, that you always had this kind of stable, like, yeah, me and Karina are going to be together, while I was doing this other manifesting thing, thinking, thinking, thinking that I needed to do something, thinking that I needed to, you know, change something about myself, whereas you always thought, I'm good, just as I am, and everything's just going to happen as it should happen. You know yeah. what I mean? yeah. So that's the difference between like attachment styles. Like I was quite anxious and you were a bit more secure. And at that time, probably a bit more avoidant, weren't you? Definitely, definitely. Yeah, I, I wasn't ready at that time. I just wanted to, I wanted to travel. Yeah, which was weird because my dad also wanted to travel and go around and do, you know, I'm stuff very similar to your dad, right? He's like incredibly sim yeah. similar to my dad which is interesting because i've had lots of anxiety and lots of things that i've wanted to heal with my relationships and you have represented so many of those things in our kind of up and downy twisty turny journey which has been very difficult at times hasn't it yeah uh, there's been a lot of time not being together and a lot of <clears throat> you know different relationships yeah but it happened exactly when it was supposed to happen right i mean i know we met before in the past a few times but the time that it was supposed to happen was was now it was always going to happen in 2021 wasn't it yeah see that's the thing that's so it's like it was already in the bag when we met when we were in 2014 it was done and basically. i guess i kind of felt like that like uh you know like i don't know if it's a weird thing to say but i sometimes i see the past as not that different to the future like everything is sort of set already it's already decided the future was always going to happen how it was going to happen yeah so that's your belief and that's how you you've created is that a bad thing to say to mani man manifesty people that no, they can't change the future belief. that's it how will you just happen the way it's going to happen that's your belief that's what i believe yeah, yeah. I believe so you're manifesting happens, that way it happened because it was always going to on the other hand i believe that at any point in your life you can create a new outcome a new story but you might believe that that realization and that creation from your mind is yeah. part of the thing that was already set exactly, in stone right yeah right so, so that's how that's what a tricky believes. one yeah but i believe that we're totally in control of our destiny and that we can create a new story affirm a new story create a new concept of ourselves that feels more confident oh yeah that's what i was going to ask you like what do you feel is like the biggest difference with our relationship now to like last time it's just be everything's better this time. Uh, 
I'm not saying it wasn't last time. No. Just we're at that time in our lives when it when it can happen now. Okay, so that everything is better this time. Everything, you, yeah. yeah. I, I can't pinpoint exactly what, just everything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but do you know how much work I did on myself and how much self-love came into this? Because I know you don't know you how don't this... You seem different to me. You, you've always been... You seem the same okay. as you always. You're still you. But don't you think I'm a bit more confident now? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm more confident, and I don't demand <clears throat> as much from you, do I? Sure. Yes. Definitely. Because often what we're doing is so subtle. Oh look, there's an old granny looking at us. <laughs> She's probably thinking, "What are we doing?" <laughs> Those people are just talking to a window. <laughs> She's literally oh, God. like, "What are they doing?" I feel like the difference is that I feel really so much more secure within myself and therefore I don't demand... Shall I whistle away for her? Guys, wave? by the way, we, we, um, we actually tape. taped the phone to the window because um, it's quite late in the day, so we wanted some good lighting. Yeah. And there's a woman across the street looking at us thinking, what is going on with those two <laughs> strange foreigners? Oh, go away. Oh, she's gone. She's Sorry, gone. what were you saying? Fine. I was saying, I feel like the biggest difference with us now is that I feel so much more secure. And before, I used to be... And I, I'm still triggered sometimes, Yeah, you still I? have wobbles. But the <clears throat> difference is I think I deal with it in a different way because I never blame you for it, do I? No. So that gives you more freedom to go and be you and, yeah. and not feel responsible for my emotions because before, I used to blame him for the way I was feeling and then that created some arguments and stuff, didn't yeah. it? Definitely. Also, I, I know what it's like to be in um, the worst uh, situation of that relationship. Not with you, never with you. No. But I've been in a, in a different relationship, which, which was, was really toxic because that person blamed me for everything, everything that, um, all the anxieties that she had. And see, that's what happens when two people who are unconscious basically come together and they're unable to see or work on the insecurities they have within themselves. So they're looking outside of themselves and they're thinking, it's your fault, it's your fault, it's your fault. And they're not taking responsibility for their emotions. In that time that we were apart, when I was in Italy and you were in Korea, mm -hmm. I went on this big, big, big thing about learning about myself, about how to understand my own emotions and how to take responsibility for them. And then I brought that into this relationship. And I think as a result of that, it's helped me become more conscious and you become more conscious because yeah. Because I'm reacting from the way you're acting, right? So, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah I'm sure. I, I, I feel free. Yeah, see? That's, that's, that's the best thing ever. I love that you feel like that. Because I do as well. Because it's about having two individual people who are independently okay, doing their own thing, not dependent mm. on each other, but just happy to be together. It's nice. And... Yeah. Uh, that, I think, is what we've created this time around. Whereas before, for years, I was just thinking that you would fix me or you would make me feel better or you would like... <laughs> How? Yeah, you can't. You couldn't have done that ever. So... Yeah, it's something you've got to do yourself, right? Sure. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. And the other thing I was going to ask you as well is, do you remember once you said to me, when we hadn't spoken for four years, we hadn't spoken for four years, yeah. wow. and I said, you said to me once, it... It always feels like I can kind of feel you around. Yeah, oh sure, yeah, I've always felt your presence. Why, is that me feeling the manifestation happening or something? Maybe, I, I have no maybe, idea, maybe. but I found it really interesting because I thought, oh my god, all those times that I was thinking about you, maybe you did feel it, maybe I was there with you, maybe that was part of it. Mm. I don't know, we'll never know, we can't ask the laws of the universe if this is the exact science of it, but it's interesting because I remember you saying that you felt like I was always there and you couldn't get rid of me. And I thought, oh my God. Can the other person sense it? Interesting. Yeah, I just want to say, like, as a non-manifesting person, um, well done to all you people who have manifested something because it's like having a superpower. Like, You've well done, I can't do that. I mean, I, I don't know what to call it, what I've done. I wanted to do something and, and then I did it. Is that... You think of things in your mind and then they happen. I've watched it. I suppose, okay, I do it too then. But I don't put a label on it. You're often 
creating new things and things happen after you say that they're going to happen and mm. we go places that we say that yeah. you want to go yeah. and all sorts of things happen like that so really what you think stuff. you become right Is yeah that, exactly that's right sure what you think you become yeah and that's uh that's what you're doing yeah yeah i guess so then all right cool there's lots of people who watch this channel who are wanting to manifest a relationship or a specific person and with that specific person, that person is at the moment with someone else. And there has been lots of times in our journey when you have been with someone yeah. else or yeah. I've been with someone else. While he was in another relationship, right? There were times where you really weren't thinking about me, right? But it didn't stop the fact that we ended up yeah. together. Yeah, it was still, yeah. It was always gonna happen when it was gonna happen again, as I said, yeah. And I always knew that, I did. You, you, he manifested me, you see? It was easy for him, Ooh, whereas I, thought that I was doing all this work and I had to do all this manifesting and that it was just so difficult at times but actually you know it was so easy for you because you just thought I knew that was going to happen yeah. which is the best way to manifest is, is that just the strongest way knowing is it? just knowing yeah. and trusting just have to know it mm. and believe that you deserve it and believe that you can have everything that you want well that's yeah what a great thing yeah yeah so, yeah but this is good because this is like a good representation Re this is good representation. because it's a, a rep <laughs> i can't speak it's a good representation sure yeah it's yeah. a good reputation why reputation I... is it good what are you saying you know what i mean is a good representation of your your specific person they might not be into manifesting they might not really get it i think it's a, a small niche community isn't it yes very lucky small niche community who are growing in size yeah. every day oh, yeah sure maybe in the future yeah maybe you guys are all ahead of time maybe in the future this will be the norm right you'll be the majority like veganism or something like that so yeah, yeah. how do you think you've changed since being with me oh god in so many ways what this year yeah everything's changed just before we got together, I decided to change myself professionally. I've started, um, I, I'm basically, I'm a self-taught software developer. So I've completely changed my whole career path, which actually I did, I, I decided to do just before we got together, right? Mm -hmm. But um, maybe you made a little wish, Johnny should get a different job, stop doing this job that he hates. And yeah, maybe it worked then. I was just looking for that thing, you know, what should I do instead? And it mm -hmm. just happened to come just as we, just before we got together, right? Yeah, perfect timing. And then many other things have changed. I, I quit smoking. I was a quite a big smoker and drinker for a long time. And mm. I've, I don't smoke anymore. I don't really want to drink. I still have a bit of a drink sometimes, but I've never really had a problem with that. So that's just a social thing. And diet, yeah, my diet's changed. We've become vegans, haven't we? Do mm -hmm. they know? Did they know you're a vegan? No, but you oh. do now. You right. do, we have... Yeah, we both changed that together, yeah. didn't we? Which I think has helped us both to become more mindful of what we're putting into our bodies, yeah. how we're treating our bodies, and therefore how we're treating other people and each other. Yeah, yeah. So all of these things are such have had such a big impact on our relationship because a lot of the the a lot of the disagreements and things that we had before. Were, were sort of fueled sometimes what by disagreements the... Did we... Where, what disagreements in my head there was disagreements in my head there was things that were wrong in my head there were like the way i was perceiving things was like that there was trouble there was things that needed to be solved and you were like everything's great no, i have a great yeah. time with karina I and i was creating all of these things in my head based on my old beliefs my old perceptions my old sense of self my old self-concept and you can't even completely unaware yeah didn't know do you see how powerful your mind is everybody because that is like so telling that you had no idea that that was happening in my head mm. also partly because i was afraid of saying how i felt about things but i always do say how i feel about things yeah. now don't i it's sure it's a good thing to do if i get triggered by something if i feel like my old self-concept has been triggered i will tell you won't mm. i yeah. And then, you know, I'm not blaming him for it, but I will express it because I feel safe to do that. We don't have to be completely perfect to be in a relationship. No perfect. Like, I'm not completely healed from all of my past trauma and stuff. And you know that, don't you? Yeah. And and you're not either. Definitely not. God, no. God, no. So we, we, we become more aware of these things and that helps us to be more open and communicate better. And then it just creates um, a more 
harmonious relationship. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Thanks for coming on to the show. You're welcome. The show, oh my god. Well, it's not, I never call it a show, I just called it a show because you're here today. <laughs> Look at him. Some, as I said, again, like, well done. It is, uh, it is like a superpower. So, yeah. Yes, we're all super, super powered people. I just want everybody <clears throat> who watches my videos to know their power. To know, I talk about this all the time with you, don't mm. I? Like, how powerful we are. Yeah. Like, we're so, so, so yeah, powerful. Yeah, the mind is really powerful, isn't it? And it's just becoming aware of that power and just tapping into it with our consciousness. So... Yes, that's the end. So, what do you normally do to finish your videos? What do you oh, say? Oh, I say, yeah, so if you'd like some coaching. Um, oh, right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like some coaching uh, with me, you can email me and I'll leave the email below. And you can follow me on Instagram. And we also have our own channel, do Oh, we, we do, yeah, but, you know, we have, like five followers or something it's a bit of a silly thing we just do that for us don't we yeah we, it's we fun. like to document our travels yeah for our future selves to watch and enjoy yeah so if you do want to follow that you can i'll leave the link below it's just us going around different countries doing things and yeah, yeah being ourselves really right so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video thanks guys bye, bye.